kani gade ka patisi tv bat fidang pet yaki khubor baman kasni katba kisni kilanang jan sak election jet mla na ka jingben khre ek election da ki kirtong bat ki sang sang per thai ba pher pher kataru ka jinga kan tho para sang kalanang jor ban persang pen ko ngo yala ka jong ka jong ka sang jong ki dang ne ka singi ka lai tarik urim phang ka sang congress hak ne ka jilla lingbao jan secretary sanjay das nang tau ba roni wiling do ba ba fearless wajri kalakan tho jor ya ka sang national people's party dang ba ong ba ka jing persang jong ni ka sang ban pen ngat ki pat ba ba kam dan ka jing tre lang hap dang ka npp bat ka bjp bat ba ka npp hak ne election ka khon persa ek bjp kalong ka bom sisha uba fearless wajri ula ong ba ka jing sisha hi ka don ka jing dai hap dang ki ni ki arseng dak ba ka donuk saru ek rukom i ticket ki kertong bat ka jing pendu ticket ki kertong jong ka bjp ka dai ka bla yesu jong bat lupa hap dang ka bjp bat ka npp npp is definitely not a threat to us but we are trying to tell the people that npp they are hand in glove with the bjp the facts on the ground like what our spokesman has said is there to indicate without any doubt that npp is working with the bjp the congress voters are committed voters they cannot be bought we have committed voters we are we have, the voters of congress they are voting for a national party because we want a united india news false news we can substantiate they had a meeting where they had a meeting what time we know is it uh, very recent yes very recently see we remember very well as soon as the bjp uh, uh, got a sam on uh, on their lap they came out with nada and who were the leading party rushing from meghalaya to to the nada meeting <coughs> we have it on the, in the print media we have it everywhere and npp is a leading party and sad to say please don't quote of the record npp is a borrowed party from manipur it is a so called national party it, it was in manipur all of a sudden they think they 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 they, they have committed voters and they are talking about ideology where is their ideology since when have they uh, spell out their ideology there's simply no ideology they are picking up candidates from wherever they can do i don't want to demean or belittle anyone they are picking a candidates wherever they get what ideology are they talking about how distinct are they from the bjp they are all out to grab power by hook or by crook is that bantailang has been working and has been applying for a ticket from sona eventually the ticket was not given to him it was given to ba pw komji and bandailang was literally shoveled to the nosla well, that is that is not business for us no no the fact of the matter is that it is definitely their business we don't mind we don't mind them doing anything it is their business you are right here and you are absolutely correct but the fact of the matter is that bandailang was applying for a ticket from sora maybe they thought that bandailang has a better chance maybe maybe we don't know that's you know that's a really real of you know uh, you know uh, We can't guess, but the fact of the matter is, it is so well to the Nasla. Now they want to, you know, give the impression, okay, to the people of the state that they have nothing to do with the BJP. But like I've stated earlier before you came, the fact states otherwise. They are four of their MLAs are ministers in the BJP government in Manipur. Okay, <coughs> then NPP is a major partner in the NEDA. NPP. and then npp is part and parcel of the nda in the union government npp shares a government I mean has the mlas in the rajasthan government bjp in the bjp government in rajasthan now what are, what are they trying to fool the people of meghalaya that they have nothing to do to give the impression that they not align with the communal party they are part and parcel of the bjp let them remove let them uh, you know uh, get themselves out from the nda alliance from the neda from the manipur government from the rajasthan government then the people of meghalaya will believe that i think you no know, they would like to give this impression to the people of the state huh? that you know they will not favor narendra modi but sure we are going to give you clips of the speeches made by conrad sangma in the parliament where he praised mr modi i don't think his praise even his father than he what the praise is given to modi so all this is hogwash you know all this is to fool the people of the state look here we projecting nitish kumar Okay. 
Now, who is Conrad or who is the NPP of Meghalaya to, you know, project Nitish Kumar? You think Nitish Kumar is a fool? Nitish Kumar is a kid? Nitish Kumar is a seasoned politician. I don't, I don't think they need advice from Mr. Conrad and uh, company. Some of the candidates, you know, they'll have to abide by the, uh, you know, the command of certain businessmen. If they don't, uh, they'll not be able, even allowed to contest. Some of the candidates are not named. Okay, you know I think. You know better. As you smile, you know. You see, so, so they are not leaders in their own right. They are not leaders in their own right. But then they have been forced to, you know, to uh, contest from that party because they were given this wrong impression that if BGP comes into power within six months, they will uh, lift uh, ban on coal mining. Now, look here. The ban on coal mining is not imposed by any government. Okay, it is imposed by the NGT, huh? which has a, a judicial pass. Now, how can somebody anticipate that if they come into power, they can lift this ban on coal mining? If that is the case, if that is the case, it only shows that they've influenced NGT to impose ban on coal mining. Either way, either way, what is the people have been asking for it. But we have two applicants. It's not that we do not have applicants. Shillong South, we have three. See, we want to field candidates. Like now, we got rid of all businessmen and contractors. Now, we brought in professionals, doctors, engineers, uh, retired bureaucrats. We're looking at quality so that we can, you know, really rule the state, make laws, not make this a mockery where people will do business. It's no longer. It's not that we do not have candidates. We want serious candidates, see people who will serve the state. People who will legislate, people who will, uh, you know, debate in the house. No people who will be sleeping and then attend, hardly attend the floor of the house. You ask me how many times your uh, MLA, South MLA has attended, uh, South Chilong MLA has attended the house. None of you have appointed this out. Because he was a deputy speaker. Still? Still? Yeah, deputy yeah. speaker, the uh, uh, chair yeah, is provided for him. How, how many times uh, MLA from Mandurwan spoke in the assembly? You see, you see, I think you do not know that, you know, there are certain points they have raised. We have raised in the CLP. Now, there is a forum for us to raise, not necessarily in the floor of the house, because we are the government. What happens in CLP, we do not know. We see that a candidate, how he is debating, what kind of issues are being brought in the assembly. That is what that we, is we exactly the point. Do. That is exactly the point why these three seats, you know, though we have applicants, we have not decided yet, because we are looking at the, you know, the right candidate. Is it a fact that Mr. the Shilong Lok Sabha member, Mr. Vincent Pala, is going to contest one of the applicants from for the period? No, he's not going to contest. He's a member of parliament. He's not going to contest the MLA. Mm -hmm.